Hi, I'm James. I'm a design manager for Protect by Deham, and today we're in Cambridge where we're going to be fitting a dehumidification system uh, to a gentleman's garage. Now he's got a fantastic oak frame structure, uh, newly built, where he's keeping four classic vehicles. Uh, unfortunately, some of these vehicles are being kept in protective bubbles um, because of condensation buildup, but even they're not doing the job. So we're going to fit a uh, system in here which is going to blow uh, dry conditioned air over the cars and condition the whole space. Let's go and have a look. Love. It brings a smile to my face when I'm over a mountain because it's like, uh, I guess it takes you back. Well, it just takes you back to a different time. They build them beautifully and it's got all the quirks and bangs and, but I just, I don't know why I, why I own it or anything. I just, because there's no logic in it. it. You couldn't do any spreadsheet to say that makes sense. Maybe, maybe a bit financially, but it's more just an emotional buy. I, th I think, I think we, you know, whether it's an old house or an old car, we're all just passengers in this life and uh, and we're all just custodians of the things we get and, and if we can at least preserve them and keep them for other people to enjoy that's 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 that's, that's probably what life's about you know it is a piece of history this you know and you know someone someone spent time making making you know this beautiful steering wheel and you think to yourself you know if it's if it's looked after it'll be there for other generations to have you know whether it's your own kids or whether it's just whoever the next people of it you know where if it's not looked after it's gone you know it's not perfect at all and I think that's the beauty of beauty of uh, old cars and I'm actually really pleased to be you know putting it in in you know in the garage you know with and I'm, that's why I invested in 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 the system of dehum because I think it'll keep it more in its natural way I mean this car actually came from a dry climate so it's never had any rust on it but over here in England it's gonna rust and I've had it in a cocoon and to be fair, it's kept dust off it, but it's still not, it's still going downhill. And the rubbers go and the seals go, where if you can actually at least keep it, you know, not over restored, but, but maintained. There's a lot of cars out there that are over restored and they look like, they don't look like an old car. You've invested a lot of money in this. You best put it in the best environment you can so it stays, stays as it is now, not goes downhill. So most of the ducting is now in position. The dehumidifier has been located uh, on the oak beams, as you can see. Um, and we set the ducting up to blow uh, evenly distributed over each vehicle, as it will be within the garage. Uh, the reason we've done that on this is partly because it's an oak frame building, uh, which means it expands and contracts a lot, so you get a lot of airflow through it. Um, and secondly is that uh, at, at points during the summer, the doors are going to be open. But if we're blowing air directly over the vehicles, it doesn't matter what the air is doing outside or around the vehicle, um, we're still protected in the vehicles with a, an airflow of 45% RH. I guess, I guess the reason why, I, why I'm really happy is I, I'm, I'm shocked how long you guys have been here and the quality of service you've given in making the installation so bloody perfect. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm shocked at the quality of the fit, fittings as well. You know, the stainless steel fittings and pipes and there's a lot of care gone into it and the design is um, discreet but actually quite cool. There's been no corners cut in terms of the quality of fittings and, and the control system I've got. I know, I know these cars are worth some money and I want it to be worth that at least and more and I think that you know if, if you can at least go to them and you know they're not deteriorating that's a big weight off your mind. You know, so it's peace of mind you're buying. You know, I, I actually know one of my cars. I've got, um, I, I don't have a lot, but my four cars, I've got one of them is actually starting to rust underneath the underseal. 
so I am going to take something on the seal off and repaint it but I actually want it to be in a, in a, in a dry environment so it doesn't then go downhill again mm. but I don't know I'm paying for that under seal done but it's more than the installation of this so doesn't to me to me if you've got anything of value you should maintain it because that's because ultimately we're custodians of these things when I go someone else will hopefully own this you know and and, and love it as much as I've got and that's all I want to do is I, I don't see it I never see it as a as an investment first of all I see it as something I love and then and then I don't want it to lose money <laughs> mm. you know but um you know I'm 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 over the moon with the work D Hume have done today you guys have um, worked professionally, tidily, and done a great job for me. The quality insulation is good. The humidity is down now. I'll put this baby to sleep. I can't go over the just overall the quality of the unit and the pipe work and the control systems. And for the money, I'm I'm being a Yorkshireman. I need my pound, and I'm getting that. And you know, I know I've seen, you know just deterioration signs on my cars that have not been like my, like mould forming like a bit of rust and I know I've spent more money per year just keeping those things at bay that I hope this will stop 